A solid win against Shrewsbury Town, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's only one game, but it, it is a result I didn't really expect in terms of the how comfortable we played, all right? Considering how bad we've been recently, I will take that, all right? Not just the result, but we had shot after shot after shot. I mean, Shrewsbury... I can't even say it, Shrewsbury were very, very poor, but we, we played well, alright, and for once, I enjoyed watching us, and that's something I haven't been able to say this season, so I'm happy enough, we're into the quarterfinals against West Ham at home, um, obviously that's going to be a massive test, but in terms of how we played, as I say, we, we it looked as though we wanted to take the game to them, for once we weren't taking too long, uh, you know, our decisions, some of them are wrong, but we were making decisions. We weren't just passing it around without any final product. And it was a comfortable enough win. And the only downside really is that Will Keane got subbed on late on. And four minutes later, after hitting the post brilliantly, uh, he got injured. So now we only have Martial as a striker. No one else. Uh, well, I suppose Memphis could play there. Fellaini could play there. But let's be honest, Martial's the only one that can really play in that striker position. But... Aside from that, the goals, the first one was a uh, smalling, uh, we had a fair few shots before this, I mean, I think we had, what, nearly 30 shots if I'm correct, I haven't checked the stats, I was out when watching the game, but uh, yeah, smalling with a deflected or a bobbled shot that goes into the bottom left to make it 1-0, I think, 32 minutes in, and uh, yeah, after that, it was just plain sailing really, and it was a nice free kick from Mata that could have been called for offside, I'm not sure if it actually hit one of our players, but um, yeah, the the routine, they were obviously offside when running, and did it interfere with play, who knows, but it was given anyway, and to be honest, if it wasn't, we still would have won, so I don't think it really matters, but yeah, ma <laughs> matters, Matter scored the free kick, and it's about time he did something in regards to the scoreline, he, he hasn't really scored or assisted too many, but he played well today, in fairness, as did a lot of players, as I say, and uh, the third goal, it was a nice counter-attack, and it ended with, um, I'm not sure who crossed it in, but um, was it, oh, I'm not even going to guess, I, I, uh, nah, I'm not going to guess, anyway, it was crossed in, and Lingard manages to uh, kind of slide it into the top left, it's a, it's a nice finish, and it was, it wrapped off, uh, wrapped up a really nice performance, so we're into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, and now we have to, we have to push on from that, alright, West Ham, or a, a solid team and they're going to be gunning for it because this is a real chance of them winning silverware um, as it is for us. So we really need to go full force. And of course we can win, but <sighs> it's going to be difficult, all right? If we can arise past this though, then we've got every chance of winning the FA Cup and... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. It's a difficult game, but we're at home, so we really, we have to win. There is no excuses. West Ham have been brilliant this season, but there really is no excuses. It's a team we should be winning against, even with how poor we've been. But anyway, we're obviously not going to underestimate them, and all we can do is hope for the best and uh, see what we can do in the return leg against Michelin, which I think De Gea will be fit for. Romero hasn't really made two... I think he made one error this game, but he's been good over the two games that he has played, so fair play to him. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.